Welcome to Daily Prayer, your sacred space for contemplation and connection, brought to you by the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm truly delighted to have you here with us today as we journey together in prayer. It's Monday, March 4th, and we are reflecting on the third Sunday in Lent. Let's take a moment to still our souls, inviting the peace of God to fill our hearts. Let's pray. Holy God, through your Son, you have called us to live faithfully and act courageously. Keep us steadfast in your covenant of grace, and teach us the wisdom that comes only through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now let's hear today's scripture reading from the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3. May the word of God speak to our souls. According to the grace of God given to me, Paul, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, but someone else builds on it. And each one must be careful how he builds. For no one can lay any foundation other than what is being laid, which is Christ Jesus. If anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw, each builder's work will be plainly seen, for the day will make it clear, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test what kind of work each has done. If what someone has built survives, he will receive a reward. If someone's work is burned up, he will suffer loss. He himself will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple? and that God's Spirit lives in you. If someone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, which is what you are. Guard against self-deception, each of you. If someone among you thinks he is wise in this age, let him become foolish so that he can become wise. For the wisdom of this age is foolishness with God. As it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise are futile. So then, make no more boasting about mere mortals. For everything belongs to you, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future, everything belongs to you. And you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Having received the word, let us now pour out our hearts to God, lifting up our joys, concerns, and gratitude. Whether in silent meditation or spoken word, let our prayers unite us in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. 
give peace in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. In penitence and faith, let us make our prayer to the Father and ask for his mercy and grace. For your holy people, that they may triumph over evil and grow in grace. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. For candidates for baptism and confirmation, that they may live by every word that proceeds from your mouth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. For the sick in body, mind, and spirit, that they may know your power to heal. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. For the poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven and see you face to face. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Let us commend the world for which Christ suffered to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We trust that this time of reflection has enriched your spirit and drawn you closer to God. If you found this podcast uplifting, please share it with loved ones and consider subscribing so you can journey with us each day. To support our ministry, visit our website at goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what challenges you face today, God's love surrounds you. Stay well. Spread kindness. I'll see you tomorrow.